It's raining. The way weather affects people may affect mementos, too. Okay. Well, uh, can we hang out with anybody? Nothing in for Ryuji yet. I can level up on. Okay. What day is it? Saturday. I'll just add this. I was hoping it would be rainy so we could get a bonus at the uh uh we get a bonus at the the bathhouse. Okay, so we want to go to Underground Mall. And hang out with On, though will that Oh, that'll actually catch us up with On. Nice. We'll just have to wait for now. Okay. Hang out with her. Thanks. Does dinner work for uh oh, does the diner work for you? Um So I talked to Shiho about what's what happened with Mika back at the photo shoot. And you know what she did? She laughed. Couldn't stop talking about how tough she thought Mika sounded. Honestly, though, it was kind of refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. I guess you really just need someone to laugh at you if you want to feel better. Alright. Give me a second. I've got a... I keep trying to change my, my stream thumbnail for things. It doesn't always work. Okay, so there's that. What's this? Teacher made to suffer. Nope. Okay, uh, so we want lovers. I keep closing these because I don't know if we're going to be hanging out with them for a while. And there we go. Well, anyway, seems that way. Uh -huh. I mean, they always say laughter is the best medicine, right? I've seen the truth of that saying firsthand. But anyway, even though I'm trying to strengthen my heart, Shiho is the real strong one here. I went to one of her rehab sessions the other day. She said she wanted me to be there. So I agreed without thinking much about it. But it ended up being pretty overwhelming. Uh, was she working hard? Yeah. She was dripping with sweat, teeth clenched. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Apparently she can't even move her feet. She said it feels like her legs are filled with sand. But she... Drag them along, legs swollen with blood. I wanted to just make her stop. By the time it was over, she was in tears. It was really tough on her. She said she wanted to give up. And that's why she asked me to come, to keep her motivated. The whole time she was complaining about things in ways she normally never would. But even with that, she finished her session. I don't even know why I'm crying. I didn't have to go through that. Is it because I'm weak? You're not. Uh, it's because you're kind. You're wrong. You know, even though all, even through all that pain, I thought Shiho was cool, beautiful even. Despite all her complaining, she was trying really hard. Strength is more than just not getting phased. It's the power to fight through adversity. <sighs> so I was thinking, and um. What can I do to help Shiho? Comfort her. Or show her your own strength. Show her your own strength. My strength? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do just that. I'm going to give it my all. You know, dude, being with you help really helps me see things clearly. What should I do? The true meaning of strength. Thanks. Well, thanks for that. I sense a heightened motivation. Yay, rank six. Okay. Ice and recovery. Cure. Oh! Status ailment. Uh, heal status ailments. Well, that's useful. Ah, my nose is all runny. What are you looking at me like that for? Pretty girls get runny noses too, you know? Bye! Well, see you around. Huh. Ah, you're back. <laughs> Apparently, if I do uh, New Game Plus. Uh, I can just skip school constantly except for question days, maybe. That's funny. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarame must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging at us with anything, right? But wouldn't he wait to press charges after the exhibition? 
What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Trasking Yusuke. He's still with Matarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? Wonder if he'll be okay with Matarame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Matarame is on the phone as we speak. What do you mean something? I believe he is preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Well, I guess we gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition's finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out this time too. Okay, so what do we got? <laughs> Hello, Master. Jesus Christ. Hello, Master. It's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask you, can you request me? The request fee is 5,000 yen, but I'll promise I'll do a good job. Alright, I feel like it can become closer to Kakami thanks to the temperance. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Why not? My poor money! Okay, here we go. What? Really? You will request me? Okay, I'll make sure your room is absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. Um. I love clean cleaning shabby, I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. Gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? Uh, it does. <laughs> Aw, Master. Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. Seriously, though, I think it would be hilarious is, like, the further we rank up our, pers our rank with her, the, like, cleaner and the nicer the room gets. Including, like, painting the walls and, like, actually getting a nicer bed and stuff like that. It'd be so nice. Oh, and she's, she's, she keeps knocking. I forget it does that. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chick feel, you know? And now, cleaning is complete. Uh, I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments, and today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feel a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't expecting me to do anything weird with you, were you? Absolutely not. As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get involved with any of my students, so... Uh, I need a nap. Sorry, just give me like five minutes, maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. <laughs> Lady, I go into I go into the shadow realm of people's hearts and beat up demons for money. I'm rich as balls, but I can't tell you about it. <laughs> you need money? Well, uh... You know. It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay for her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount last week. I... No, yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh, oh, wrong number. Nah, she's got the mob after her. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but do you happen to have, like, 100,000 yen I could borrow? Wait, never mind. Owing one of my students' money would be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. Uh, this is all for you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if you were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest of the rest is your responsibility. You're a high school after all. I can sense Kawakami's trust in me. There we go. Hundred thousand yen, you don't have that much. Oh well. No, I've got ninety something thousand yen, or maybe it's down to eighty thousand or seventy-eight. I don't know. I almost have enough, and if I wanted to, I totally could have that much money. But I don't because. Bleh. 
Ah, uh, three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Kamakami left. It would be hilarious if you could actually just throw the money at her, like, right from the get-go. Oh, hi. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayori... How could I... I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why did he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal! Let's keep pushing on, then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know that? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? We wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked.
rich because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? I'll take it as you will. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Go right ahead. Or, I'm not telling. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Okay, summary of the story. Can press that. That's easy enough. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. 
Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> so the ruling party guy is the... Yeah, the bald guy. Hey. If I remember correctly, you transferred lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, okay? You have my gratitude. What are you so polite about all for a uh, for all of a sudden? Okay, there we go. Oh, polite for all of a sudden. There we go. I truly am grateful for you making me come to my senses. You're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. Well, there were a lot of ups and downs, but we still pulled off our first job. Yusuke joined the team too, so let's continue reforming society like this. Alright, and I got a... Ah, speech help. Okay, let's do that. But first, we want to go... Underground walkway. Juice, juice, juice. What do you want? Yeah, I'm gonna have to grind for so much money. You really need to get pumped up and tell yourself it's for you, for your health. Glarg. Good job. I was watching you try so hard. Okay, and we get another free point to some random stat, probably. Right. Charm. Yay. Okay. Uh, so now we want to go to Tornosuke. I guess I should probably save, just in case I screw up. Okay, speech help. I'd like to request your help with another speech. I've been feeling more courageous with you around. How's your schedule looking today? Oh, right. We don't need a son. Thank you. Please come to the front of Shibuya Station. I'll be waiting. Can I feed the plant now? Nope, I won't be able to feed the plant until the 15th, I think. That you possess free will does not mean that you can always do as you please. To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. If we need your, uh, we need your support more than ever. That approach isn't going to work. You have to get the voters more excited. You're going to completely lose the hearts and minds of people. Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Matsushita. It's been so long since we last spoke. I wanted to stop by and see how you were doing. I should probably not have given him like a shitty, shitty voice. Oh, well, too late. Oh, you have a high schooler volunteering for you, huh? Well, my hi times have changed. Do you know about the Kuramoto children? Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Sun, 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 Mr. Golden Sun. Hi. Uh, yes, Mr. Yoshida told me. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed that you're so interested in politics. As Matt, I was a member of the Kuramoto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made an amazing career change, going from a pro wrestler to a diet member. I was elected easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit when I failed to be re-elected for a second turn. That was true for the both of us. No. You made a great comeback, though. You are truly an inspiration. As are you, old friend. You're working harder than anyone on the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. Yoshida's well informed about the inner workings of politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. 
However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does. If you want to become a diet diet member, hmm? and what might that be? I'm guessing he doesn't know. You really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments? You got to secure votes, or else no one, or else you'll be forever known as the no good Torah. What? Without honesty and good ar arguments, there can be no political justice. Heh. It's been a while since I've heard one of your gran grandiose speeches. Starcoon, was it? Tell me. What about Yoshida here drew you in? His message. His speaking skills. Starcoon. Wow, well, that's quite impressive. You just may have the potential to become a Diet member. Diet. I don't fucking... I don't, I don't know. You address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems like you have been taught well. You're right. I intend to teach him everything I know. That's what we agreed on. And it ranks up. Yeah, I was going to give him like a really snitty voice. As you ask for large amounts of money during negotiations. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kuramoto? Yes. We're still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. Oh, that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds, but I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm gonna say. Why did he have to mention that? Ah, my apologies. That's all for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Good job. Hey, we're up in the teens. Go figure. Alright, and it's Monday. And I really need food. Oh, it's one of these. Did you see the news? That's the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? The way it's written seems pretty legit. Hey, have people really had... Uh, really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves really exist. There we go. Yeah, this guy's a pro wrestler. There's actually a lot of pro wrestlers in politics. Martin, the response to Madara Ma uh, Madarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflown phantom thief charm. Oh shit, I'm finally starting to be popular with all the fly hunt. Oh no. Something strange. For real? Of course there is. My uniform, man. My uniform. We're supposed to be. Uh, we're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh, God damn it. I gotta go home and change. Uh, so you go on ahead. The Rock wants to run for president. <laughs> Dude, if The Rock actually became president, that would be so. That'd be hilarious, and I'd probably be down for it. He's probably a good dude. I don't know, kind of depends on the alternatives. Okay, holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up, jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen. Same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person's behind all this. Hey, the news this morning said the group called the FISH are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they got people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> You knew, didn't you, about Mr. Kamashita's sexually harassing students? Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. 
I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Ah! Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah. How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Feels pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Matarami is the only topic of conversation in my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of the... My peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. They already had been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads in our next mission? You kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. Oh, we need to wait and see. Understood. Ooh, we could always go to Mementos instead. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Now then. Let's just lay low for a while, so keep your head down, okay? So I get the feeling we run into the criminal maybe later? I don't know. Hey, I found some great intel. This time it's bullying by a Kosi student they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M. Kind of like the M in S&M. Does the M stand for Mishima? That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. The girl's acting like a qu queen is Hikari Shimizu. I wonder if that's... If it's more likely that a girl will turn out to be... Wait. Girl will turn out to be like that if she has an S as initial. Oh! I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. Hopefully you don't end up an M. What do you mean by S and M? Are those shirt sizes right? Is it the size of clothes? Anyway, it seems like that's a worthy target. Let's find some time to consult the others at the hideout. Okay, so we got another request, but that'll be that'll be there for later. I don't even know what we're going to do, but I'm gonna save. I'll this is how I save. This. I forget. There we go. 